Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rick Chambers, in today for Dave Gonzalez. Hello, everyone. I'm Mia Lee. Let's talk about tamales. They are going to be featured on Hollywood tables all over the Southland this week. And whether you're an old hand or maybe a new one at the art of tamale making, we have some tips you might find useful. <laughs> KKL 9's Amy Johnson's live now in MacArthur Park with, a, with the real tamale experts. Amy? Well, Mia, if you need help in making tamales, Mama's Hot Tamales Cafe is the perfect place to learn. They're known as the tamale capital of the world because they feature 60 different tamales from a variety of countries. Tamales, for many Latin Americans, they go hand in hand with Christmas. Over the years, it's become a uh, family gathering, the, the, vo the focal point of families gathering together to catch up on what they've been doing throughout the year and a fun time to make something together. At Mama's Hot Tamales Cafe, these tamales are a gift in themselves. The nonprofit training restaurant helps workers become legal business owners with sidewalk vending carts. But on this day, the gift is yours, a special lesson on tamale making. We're going to be starting out with corn husk, and you need to soak the corn husk, preferably in, a warm, in warm water, um, 15 to 30 minutes so that it's pliable. Cup it in your hand. Place about a tablespoon of masa in it, and with the back of your spoon, you're going to spread the masa. Patty Rubalcava, executive chef at Mama, says your goal is to create a smooth, even, thin layer. I recommend that you leave a uh, little liquid outside of your tamal. You're going to place the ingredients in the center. And then you'll wrap the corn dough around your ingredients. You fold up the tail end, and with your fingers, pinch off and seal the bottom end. In the restaurant, they use parchment paper, but at home? You can cut off ribbons of the corn husk, wrap them around the top end, tie them nice and tight, double knot, and then you do the same thing with the bottom end. You're and finally, you steam the tamales for about an hour. Ruba Calva mentioned some common mistakes. You need to make sure that all of your ingredients are cool before you start assembling your tamales. Even an open-ended tamal is, uh, is something that is bound to lead to disaster because the steam will cause a boiling effect in the tamal and everything will come out. Well, and if your tamales don't work out, you can buy any of those 60 tamales here at Mama's to go. And you can read more about Mama or Sandy Romero in this issue of T To See You That. There's also some recipes on tamales, so you can learn a whole lot more right here. Reporting live in MacArthur Park, Amy Johnson, KCL 9 News. Back to you. Mama's going to be busy this week. Yes, huh? she will. <laughs> so.